Hey, it's Dawn from Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today I have for you the popcorn stitch. This is what I would consider an advanced beginner stitch. It's made up of five double crochets all pulled together into one stitch. We have single crochet on the outside of the pop of the outside of the sample and in between each popcorn stitch. We also have a row of single crochet in between the rows of the popcorn stitches. So as long as you can do a double crochet and a single crochet, you should have no trouble doing a popcorn stitch. So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, and let's do some popcorn stitches. I'm using worsted weight yarn and a 5.5 millimeter hook or an eye hook. It doesn't matter what size yarn and what size hook you use as long as your hook and your yarn match. To do the popcorn stitch, you want to chain an even number of chains so that you have an odd number of stitches. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be making a chain of 24 for our example. Once you have your chain of 24, flip your chain over and we're going to be working in the back humps of the chain or these back loops. In the second chain from hook, we're going to start with a single crochet and we're going to single crochet in each loop all the way down the chain. I'm at the end of round one. We're going to chain one and turn the work. Now here's where the fun starts. We're going to single in the first stitch and in the next stitch we're going to place five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And it looks like we have this fan of double crochets. So pull up this loop and pull out your hook, just like I did, and we're going to count back to the first double crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to insert our hook grab that loop, cinch it down, not too tight, and pull it through. Now we made our first popcorn stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch to complete that. Now we're going to start in our next stitch we're going to do another popcorn stitch. So another five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull up our, a loop, take out our hook, count back, one, two, three, four, five, insert our hook, grab the loop, and pull it through. And bear with me just one moment, I got a little knot in my working yarn, so let me just untie that. There we go. And we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. Just like that. Now we have two popcorn stitches. I'll show that to you one more time and then you can complete 
the rest of the row on your own and I'll meet back up with you. So one more time, we're going to do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull up a loop. One, two, three, four, five. Into that first double crochet. Grab your loop. Pull through. Single crochet in the next stitch. So continue this pattern till you get down to the end of the chain and you should end with a single crochet in the last stitch. I'm at the end of row two. We have our row of popcorn stitches. Now it, it might not sit flat your first row. It's going to be a little fiddly until we get another row of popcorn stitches on. But that's okay if it's a little curly. That's how um, popcorn stitches are because it's a very heavy stitch. So once we get another row of popcorn stitches on, you'll see that it does lay flat. So to start row three, we're going to chain one and turn the work. There we go. Sorry about that. Chain one and turn the work. Now for row three, we're going to be doing just one single crochet into each one of the stitches. So the first is a single crochet, which is pretty simple to find. Now the second stitch on top of that popcorn, you might have to manipulate your popcorn to find that stitch because it's going to be a little bit difficult to find. It's right here. But because it's such a large stitch, it might be a little bit fiddly and a little bit difficult to find. And then you're going to have a single crochet in between and another one on top of the popcorn. So just keep going down along your row, placing one single crochet into each stitch. Now if you are doing the same number of stitches that I am in the example, when you get to the end of your row, you should have 23 single crochets. So continue with your single crochets and I will meet up with you at the end of this row. I'm at the end of the row and I have my 23 stitches. And to start row four, we're going to chain one and turn the work. And just like in our row two, we're going to do a single crochet in the first stitch. And in our next stitch, we're going to do a popcorn stitch. Again, that is five double crochets. Pull up a loop and count back one, two, three, four, five. Insert your hook, grab the loop, and pull through. Single crochet in the next stitch, and then you're ready to do a popcorn in the next stitch. After a while, you won't really have to count back those stitches, those double crochets, because you'll you'll start to fig you'll start to automatically know right where that first double crochet is. You'll just pull up your loop. One, two, three, four, and five. One, one, two, that I can't do five? Yes, I did right there. 
See, and sometimes I even get lost once in a while. And then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. And we'll do one more with you. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull up that loop. And pull through. And continue placing your popcorn stitches and your single crochets all the way down to the end of the row and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of round four and I just wanted to show you how this does indeed lay flat now that I've got that second row of popcorn stitches on. This is a really great stitch if you're looking for some like to do something very bulky this would be make a nice mat or a rug um, a lot of patterns wouldn't necessarily um, have you do this many popcorn stitches all in a row like this they usually have this as kind of like a decorative uh, stitch but it is a really nice stitch and it does make cute borders and and whatnot so this is how you do the popcorn stitch. So if you've liked this tutorial, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any of my tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye-bye.